So which banks are available for business bank account opening in Singapore? Which of these are the preferred one and what are their charges and service policies like? So let's have a look. I think this is one of the important video. Once you incorporate the company, you will be definitely opening the bank account because without bank account, there is no meaning to having a company. You will need a bank account to deposit your share capital, make payment for purchases and receive payment for the sales invoices. Now let's first take the overview of some of the banking players in the Singapore. Uh, now there are more than 120 banks in Singapore out of which 30 or so are prominent. So they have full banking license. However, all of them are not suitable for you or your requirements. Whether specific bank is relevant for you or suitable for you primarily depends upon are they accepting clients of your profile. For example, some banks may accept only Singapore resident promoted businesses as their customer and they may not accept customers who are based in foreign country like the company is incorporated in Singapore but the owner is foreigner. Then is the account suitable for you? For example, in case of some banks, the initial balance can be very high or they can have high monthly charges. And lastly, is the process of opening the bank account, is it manageable or not? If it is too complicated, if it requires too many documents, then it may not be really suitable for you. So moving on to the next slide, based on our experience in this industry, we have listed few banks which we feel are relevant and uh, suitable for most of the SME clients or SME companies getting incorporated. So first of all, there are three local banks, which are DBS Bank, uh, which stands for Development Bank of Singapore, OCBC Bank, which is uh, Overseas Chinese Banking Corporation and UOB Bank. Then some of our Indian clients also prefer some Indian banks, which are operational in Singapore. And these banks are State Bank of India, Bank of India, Yuko Bank and ICICI Bank. However, generally these Indian banks tend to be a bit bureaucratic in processes relating to opening up of the bank account. So it can sometimes cause a bit of difficulty. Also, some of these Indian banks may not offer full internet banking capability. Then there are other regional banks like Maybank and ANZ Australia New Zealand Bank. Then there are other international banks like Citibank and HSBC is a quite famous one. And Singapore is introducing some digital only banks in 2021. So obviously I don't know the names who will get the license, but there are close to 10 to 15 digital only banks. Those will be uh, registered in Singapore. And I think that will be even better for the market as more competition will come into picture. Now, when you approach to the bank for opening the bank account for your business, the bank will carry out the necessary KYC. So the KYC typically includes getting your identity documents, maybe actually personally meeting you. Uh, so the bank representative will meet you in our office and sometimes it can be over the video conference call. After that, they will verify all the documents and will approve the bank account. Now, this process is generally very fast when the company is owned by the Singapore resident because as a resident in Singapore, all my records are electronically available to banks within Singapore. The Singapore government has excellent electronic systems where everything is online. So because of this, I can apply it online. The approval can happen in many cases on the same day and I can get the passwords and tokens, bank tokens in next two to three days. However, when the company is incorporated by a foreign promoter, this process will take a long time because the details of this foreign promoter are not readily available in Singapore in any online platform. So there is a manual process and checks involved. So what I want to highlight is that fast approval of bank account for foreigners is not possible. So I am on DBS SME banking website and if you see here, it says open a business account and if I click on this, it will say get your business running in an instant with a DBS business account. However, if you go for open account instantly, let's say I select this and I want to open it instantly. 
it will presume that because I want to open it instantly, I am a Singapore citizen or a permanent resident and it will ask me to log in using my ThinkPath. So I just wanted to highlight this point because sometimes people read this on the internet and they ask us that I want to have it in one day, but which is not a case for foreigner promoted companies. Now typically bank used to insist on meeting the client in person for opening the bank account. However, during the COVID period, coronavirus period, when the flights were not operational, some banks in Singapore started online verification through a video call. So now it is possible to open a bank account and incorporate a company completely remotely. Now one of the important factor in deciding which bank to open the bank account with is the pricing guide. Because ultimately the minimum deposit, initial deposit and pricing must be comfortable for you. Sometimes people call us and they tell us that they want to incorporate a company in Singapore and uh, they want to have a bank account with Citibank. But Citibank requires $100,000 of initial deposit. The question is, are you ready for that? So I will show you where to find a bank pricing guide and how to retrieve those and compare. So I'm just going to show you an example. Okay, so while on Google, type in the search term, OCBC bank add the word business account and add the word pricing guide and maybe also add the word PDF. So once you search like this within first four or five results you will find a pricing guide. So I will open this pricing guide and please make sure that this is for business banking and not for the personal accounts. So the business growth account which is in Singapore dollars, minimum initial deposit is not applicable. That means you can put any amount and uh, that is acceptable to them. Account fee per month is dollar ten dollars, Singapore dollars ten. Service fee is not applicable. So there is no service fee. Uh, if early account closure fee is dollar fifty and so on, and they have written all these pricing uh, details over here. You can even open foreign currency business account and for that there is obviously some uh, monthly minimum balance and then there are account fees per month per account or per currency and there are these transactional details. For example, if you want to send payment outside, uh, you want to receive payment inward remittance, then all these details are available. Now similar to this, let's also check HSBC business account. Singapore pricing guide. So I think this is the one I need to check, which is written 2020. So I'm going to open it. So this is the HSBC bank pricing guide in Singapore. And they have a minimum deposit balance of 50,000 Singapore dollars. And if it falls below 50,000, they will charge $100 per month as a minimum balance fee. Similarly, monthly service fee is 100 Singapore dollars. So I think this is a bit costlier one, but this is the mechanism by which you can search the pricing guide of a specific bank in Singapore and then make your decision. I will now shift back to the presentation. And what I've done is I've summarized the key uh, points regarding these five bank accounts. The pricing guide is usually tend to be very uh, long and exhaustive. So when you decide you just go through everything in detail, but what in essence it appears it the initial deposit minimum balance and charges if balance fall below minimum. Uh, the best option is OCBC bank, but DBS and UOB are also not really bad. However, HSBC and Citibank has a high initial deposit and minimum balance requirement. And also when it comes to fall below charges and monthly service charges, the Singapore banks are better and HSBC and Citibank tends to be very high. Now keep it in mind, the pricing that you see here is at the time when this presentation was made. So for the latest pricing, you should always check with the bank's website directly the way I have shown. So what is our recommendation? So there are two points that I want to highlight. First of all, if you don't have any specific preference, then you should go with the local banks that is OCBC bank, overseas Chinese banking corporation, DBS bank or UOB. Out of this, in my opinion, OCBC is the most flexible. 
their representatives normally visit our office and they will meet in our office and our secretary will will also be available to sign the bank documents now keep it in mind these local banks are actually uh, appearing in world's 50 safest banks in 2019 so if you in this ranking if you come to here number 15 16 and 18 this dbs bank overseas chinese banking corporation and united overseas bank from singapore are rated to be the safest one and you will also notice that hsbc and citibank are not in the list at least above these three singapore banks so i don't see any specific reason why you should go for hsbc or citibank because of the high balance and uh, maybe the services they are offering are similar to these local banks now the point number two is in case you have existing banking relationship in your home country with one of these banks like hsbc citibank or icici bank then in that circumstances you can definitely consider opening the bank account with them in singapore however for that first contact your relationship manager in your home country and ask him to check and arrange for the bank account opening in singapore because they will be able to influence and they will be able to in some cases manage the remote opening of the bank account so in summary singapore offers lot of options for business bank account opening however some of them are quite costly and may not be suitable for you also in some cases as we have seen banks may not be interested in the kind of profile you are having so in general i say that local banks are the best options thank you for watching this video this video was brought to you by epica consulting singapore subscribe to our channel today to get notified when new videos are posted